Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenncarcollection.com. Good morning. I'm gonna show you some features of my 2020 M340i X-Drive. All right, so I bought this car June 1st, 2020. So kind of like right down the, during the lockdown, all the factories were closed to make mass and and uh, you know all kinds of stuff for the pandemic. So there was really a shortage of cars. It was very hard to find one of these. It was just, the only ones that were left were ones on dealer lots, essentially. So I got this one from BMW Tenafly. They gave me a great deal on it. I wanted the Portimao Blue. So this car came with a sticker of 66,000, so it had a lot of options, more than I probably would have picked myself. So kind of in this video, I'll tell you which options I like, which are probably uh, not worth it. So one of the things I really love here is that G meter. As you can see on the right-hand side here, it gives you your Gs. So you make some sharp turns, you probably pull half a G, maybe 0.6 of a G. Uh, acceleration is probably 0.4, 0.5. If you had to slam on the brakes, you know, full throttle, 60 miles an hour to zero is probably about 1G, give or take. And you can go through the menus here. Uh, let's see, I forget how to do that. Oh, yeah, I think you press the control on the left here, and then that'll cycle through. Uh, so this gives you different modes. So one thing I noticed on a lot of new cars, not just BMWs, it doesn't give you your odometer anymore. So when I shut this car off, it'll quickly give me the odometer, and you have to look fast to see it. There are some settings that will put it in there. So this is, uh, they give you battery voltage. So right now I'm up to 6,800 miles. I am way under the miles. I did 12,000 mile year lease. And this is, how many months into it are we? We're probably about halfway through the lease or close to it. And uh, well, actually, no, that's not true. So June, July, August, September. So we're 15, 16 months into it. So we should probably be at 15,000 miles now because of the pandemic and working from home, it's only 6,800. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. So the G meter, and then all obviously your temperatures. There you go. But I usually keep it on the G meter. And then nothing. If you're driving in manual mode too, we're in park right now. But say, well, here's another good thing. Let's put it in reverse. And you have this real cool camera. So this I think is a worth up option. Uh, it's the 360 camera. So you can kind of play around with the settings here. And if you have low driveways, like I, I encounter low driveways a lot being a commercial real estate broker. And, and when I do go to the office, there's a tight parking garage and everything's very low. The 360 really comes in handy. I can do all kinds of different views. I was even you even have a car wash mode here and uh, that helps you align the car wash. Now the, the sensors beep like crazy in uh so here's a 3d oh wow look at that and i think it stays the color of your car so my car is blue so i think if you got black or red or whatever it would show that yeah so this is really all the different features you can do with the camera so you can actually kind of see yourself backing up when i go through the car wash though the sensors go crazy so there must be a button that says you're in car wash mode or maybe that's it i'll have to try it where you do not have to uh have the, all the beeping as the stuff hits you. This is a daily drive. I mean, I leased this car. If, if it was a daily, I probably wouldn't go through a car wash. It just hand uh, hand wash it. Now you could do the parking here where it'll park for you. You have the backup assistant that actually I think uh, redoes your moves without hitting the steering wheel. You could do that. Uh, it probably doesn't have. Oh, here we go. This scares the shit out of me, so I don't think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but it would it would do that. We got more cameras. So the 360 cameras are a worthwhile option. That's something I use all the time. And you could actually set it. What's really cool about it is you could uh, you could set the cameras as if you uh, have a low driveway. You could record anything up to five spots. I wish it was more than that. Uh, so you like say work is a real steep driveway or your favorite gas station and uh, it'll give you a camera so you know for those low curbs. It'll automatically come on essentially when it knows that you're approaching those places. But Apple CarPlay is actually wireless. So I'm just plugging to charge my phone in here with the USB. You don't have to do that. Now you can get an option and my car doesn't have it. I don't think it was available yet. You can get wireless charging right here, but I do not have that option. Then it gives you two cup holders and it gives you the uh, that new kind. So uh, I forget what this called as far as the charger. So you need the adapter. Like I can't put my radar detector in there. And then you have the stop start. Uh, here's the thing with the camera. So I think I, I can pull this up and now I can play around with the cameras. This is showing me rear. I can do, uh, you know, change the cameras for different ones. So the 360 camera, 100% worth it. To take traction and stability control off, you have to hold this down and then it kind of puts you in DSC off. And there's also a sport mode I noticed with that too, that gives you some uh, DSC. 
and then you just press it again to get rid of that and then you have sport comfort i never ever went into eco pro and then your parking brake just like it was a manual so to pull it up you pull this to uh engage it to disengage it put down so just like you were doing a lever you would kind of do the same thing here and then the iDrive is very easy to use if you want to drive or in reverse now but if we were in drive i'll put it in park uh you just flick this over and then you go into manual mode and uh unlike my m2 the heated seats is right here you just press this button my m2 it was kind of on the steering column on the side and easy to miss so they made it really easy in this car and then all your cruise control so the features i definitely like are definitely the 360 camera uh, wireless charging would be a cool feature to have. You don't necessarily need to have it. I love the wireless CarPlay. Uh, I don't really use like the adaptive cruise control and stuff, uh, to be honest with you. I just like having control of the car. Uh, the stereo sounds pretty good, the Harman Kardon, and uh, the features, the G-meters are a pretty cool thing to have. And the gas mileage in this car is, is really great. I can tell you that uh, whatever I did in my E90 M3, the best I ever got was like 17 and a half miles per gallon. I wouldn't be surprised if this average is 25, 26, and that's a lot for a 380 horsepower car, and I drive this car pretty hard too, and I'm still getting really cool gas mods like that. All right, so those are just some of my features. Uh, I'll go into that. Oh yeah, and uh, the navigation can also be shown here, and I really like the heads-up display. I don't know if that's going to come out. And if you have the navigation on, not like your Waze or something, but actually the car's navigation, it'll actually give it to you on the navigation. So that makes it pretty easy to use. That's about it. So those are features I love uh, having in, the, in this uh, M340iX drive. Everything else is kind of like, you know, you don't necessarily need to have it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.